Yep, he just hit the bird on me. Woo! Oh, let's go. that was let's clean. Go. <laughs> well, you better. So it's a power slide putting your hand down? Yes, 180. <laughs> God. You doing okay, man? There's I some stuff I, swirling. Know, I feel like I'm just burnt out podcasting. Oh. That's what it is. Well, good thing this isn't a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a whole nother, uh, nother level. Is my is my Stevie a little, a little tired today? Yeah, I just wrestled a fucking 300-pound guy. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you know. And, you uh, deserve that water, man. Thank you, Jeremiah. Oh, man. My water's all the way over there. Do you ever wish that you could Matilda something? You know what? I'll grab it for you. You do that? Yeah, I do that. You do that you for me? A, you're making it seem like I'm a murderer. No, I'm man. I'm a bad guy. I'm a good guy. I know you're Here's a good your guy. I, Thank you. Know you. I, love you. I, I know you know I love you, dude. And, you know, I don't want, you know, I don't want, I don't want you thinking I'm like like a dark sith or something like i'm I, i'm a i'm a padawan or jedi in training just like you yeah of course through life and yeah. i want to do the right thing we're figuring things out man have you ever felt like this that you you we podcast so much like it's almost like you go on like robot like i feel sometimes like robotic mode like or like i i'm here but my i'm really not here where are you well physically i'm here but my mind's on like all these other like it's how I'm like looking at all these other clouds. I'm like, oh, but then I'm like, what do you see in those clouds? Just uh, you know, just my concerns about uh, just like you know, as far as like not just the workload, but just the, a change in lifestyle, work oriented stuff. I think it's if I if I can be honest with what I think is going on, mm -hmm. I think it freaks you out a little bit. That your schedule has been picking up in general, even outside of Scissor Bros. You've been doing just more podcasts and stuff in general. And I think it freaks you out a little bit because you are used to a very specific routine with your war zone and your different stuff. And you feel comfortable Not with that routine. Not just war zone is just, I just realized. You have like, a lot of alone time. like Yeah, I just realized if, let's say this was a different universe or like. Different timeline. A timeline. Yeah. I mean, it'd be more like. Tom Hanks castaway where I just want to do nothing. <laughs> I mean that like, do you I, really enjoy doing I, I that? I enjoy nothing just that much? doing nothing. Does that make sense? Where I, I'm literally just laying on my sleeping bag and my eyes are closed. And then I'm like, Oh, I feel peaceful right now. <laughs> and the more, <laughs> the, the more I'm doing all this other stuff, King and the Sting, Trying to learn the song, showing up to this, and uh, look behind the scenes. <laughs> this song's stressing Steve out tonight. <laughs> it it's is stressing. Oh, are Steve we recording? Out. Yeah, of course we oh, are. See that? I didn't even know we we're recording. See, there you go. But it's one of those things where I'm just like, oh, like, you know how I know that when I'm back and I, you know, how I just went came back from King of the Sing and I wrestled a 300 pound guy or whatever, yeah. and they I didn't know about it. I mean, that was highly stressful. Well, also, you have a thing about out of respect letting you know ahead of time stuff yeah and what they do me what they do to me over there is the opposite they do because they're not respectful yeah they do like kind of snaky the snakes in the grass type thing yeah yeah like yeah where yeah. hey i'm your friend guess what we have the worst possible scenario for you right now you know and then let's get steve's reaction and i don't like that <laughs> Well, at least, at least you're being honest. Yeah. I don't like seeing you this stress, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I, you know, I apologize. You don't um, have to apologize. No, I, I do because I don't, want it. It, I don't want it to, but we're talking uh, about it. you know, siphon into what we're doing. I know, but, but we're, we're, I can't. And then, but on the flip side, I, I, I got to be honest with you. Like, that's why I think it's this has lasted so long. Yeah. As well as our friendship is because we don't. 
we don't keep it in. No, like we you, always and the talk thing about is it. you know me better now where you could tell of course if something's irking me. Yeah. Yeah. But in I hate saying in my defense, but like it is in my defense, like this particular week, and I know your 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 workload's crazy, especially this month. But 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 you have a different kind of makeup for this. It's like you are a kind of a go, like yeah, yeah, when, go 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 when, go. Yeah, you're, you're a workhorse. Well, I mean, as Craig said, you're a workhorse. I, I think that that's where you and I actually we actually do get along in that way because we balance each other out in some ways because when you were talking about in the sleeping bag and just like closing your just eyes doing nothing I, I cherish that moment where i'm like oh i'll turn the christmas lights on and just lay here <laughs> do you know but you don't I, have the luxury to do that i mean especially because you have a family do you know what i was thinking during that what i was like that's impossible for me I know, and I, I, I wanted I, to bring up that point. I it's literally like, was like, when I was like... But there's stuff that exists. I know. I don't know what that's like, but... <laughs> I, you know what? And I wish... I wish you could come into my body during that moment where I'm I'm just like... Laying, just hey, doing nothing. do you want to do a body swap real quick? <sighs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so steve i'm gonna be gone these dates uh 14th 15th 16th 17th 18th uh then i'm gonna take my kid to child care and i need you uh, so there's a song steve this song it's uh c d and e okay just okay and then i just i just emailed you this new trailer steve 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 and then we're gonna be in um ontario Canada, yeah. So you need to get passports for that. No, no, no. And then we're gonna cross the border. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why? Huh? I forgot. You <laughs> keep going. <laughs> keep going. I said that. <laughs> keep going. Wait. When? When did you say that? I love King of the Sting. <laughs> Keep going on that. Keep going on that. But I just don't like... That guy... The fat guy could have killed me. <laughs> what if he would have snapped my neck? What if I would have died on King of the Sting? <laughs> and are you ready for this great song that Jeremiah took the time to write called Masturbation Station written mid-September we will be in Las Vegas in the near future for a different time that I already kind of stopped myself from saying because Wait, I don't know happened. when this is going to air and I don't want to get the Ve dates wrong. Vegas was last week. It I already know happened. and I'm, co I'm covering that up right now in a future, future event where we just go to gamble. Hey, what do you think Bob thinks about our Bob podcast? <laughs> All right. You did enough. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> you did a better interpretation because that was like, Wow. Well, your interpretation of me is like... I just wanted to... I didn't get your this. voice right. It was just more like... Because you're a hard... No. I want to speak on your behalf. Jeremiah is one of the hardest working people I've ever met in my whole life. You have traits and characteristics that are commendable. Is that a word? <laughs> yeah. Commendable. Oh, uh, yeah. Honorable. Oh. respectable mm. and I'm appreciative and grateful that I have chosen to do a podcast with such a great hardworking honest let's not forget that honest gracious humans wow. that I've met wow thank you, think you for about that, that. Uh, that's very nice you say and, and, but that was real talk. And I'm grateful. Yeah, go ahead. No, my turn. My turn. <laughs> for someone <laughs> as kind as you, as open, as as uh, as childlike, uh, with wonderment. That's a big compliment. Is that a word? Wonderment. Keep going. I love what you're doing. Um, 
and and someone as uh, as grateful and gracious with their time, and also flexibility with my schedule because my schedule does get crazy sometimes, and you're always so flexible and respectful of of being able to accommodate me. You're the way you accommodate me. I'm I'm super grateful for. And uh, I appreciate your openness to trying things and experimenting and being weird with me because there's not many people that would be as, as, as weird as me. And I love you for that. You're about to get a kiss or something. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a mouth-to-mouth kiss right now? CPR challenge? You One of us drowns? No, well, you did something to my heart just now. Oh, you did something you to my heart. You touched my heart. It was, that was a warming kind of sensation I felt. Well, I think we needed it because I I think you have been stressed lately. I have, and the thing is, but this is, a, the, okay, this is on the flip side of that, though, because people might say, dude, like, aren't you aren't you making money, dude? I mean, your, your life's improved, right, dude? Like, you're, you're probably close to buying a car, dude, you know? Like, why are you complaining, dude? Like, well, you want to go back to Fat South? Is that the thing? No, and that's not the thing. I just have to, it's balance, see? It's balance, so I have to learn to uh, balance my whole lifestyle out more in a productive, healthier manner. Because I noticed, you told me, I was ashamed to tell you this, but you said uh, when we're doing our a set list, you go, so uh, what did you do this week? And to be honest with you, the honest answer that I didn't say is I did nothing. Zero. <laughs> but what? I, wait, hold up. I existed. My life was no different than your mere lonely rock on top of a lonely mountain. <laughs> I did nothing. Zero. A butterfly did more than I did, flapping its wings, going swaying. In the air but like Steve, a leaf. But Steve, what do you consider nothing. nothing, though? I'm telling you nothing. Nothing. You did, I do nothing. You did podcasting. <laughs> That's all I do. What did you have for lunch or, or dinner some of these days? Nothing. No, you had stuff. Yeah, I ate a yogurt with granola. I saw that before we got garage. here. Which, but, actually, I didn't even know that you could eat yogurt. I thought you only ate in and out and noodles because I've seen you cook rice and noodles for yourself at your place and a pizza. So I've only seen you eat pizza, rice and noodles and in and out, of course. And I think that's about it. Because I only eat once a day. Yeah. Are we podcasting? This is real? Yeah. We've been going. This is. This is. We're in it, brother. Now, get ready for the news. But I like, song. I like how real we're being, though. It is real because I'm just letting y'all know the stuff we're talking about. I don't want your is not on this. No, we, this is just coming out right now. Yeah, because we always we I that, we always it, leave room to riff. You know what? I like I'm enjoying this because it's kind of. Do you want to get rid of that? No, 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 no. I don't. No, 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 no. No, that's bad luck. That's like a year. You can fold it for all I care. No, 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 no. I'll Does that make it. you feel better? No, 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 no. I don't want to rip it, though, because I'm you superstitious. Don't have, you don't have yeah, to rip no, no, it. But I'm just I, saying. I just, I just want to let can the put that listeners down. and folks know that we're, this is just coming out organically. Well, we, we didn't plan any of this. I know. But it's one of those things that... You know what the thing is? Another perspective I should have is, like, be grateful, dude. It's like, do you want to have nothing to do and not be... And, and look at it in this perspective. Dude, you're like... Your job is to talk and to have fun. Hello. Hello. Wake up and smell the coffee, Steve. Uh, Gerald, what do you think about uh, Steve's job and how he's feeling about it lately? I think it's completely normal for Steve to feel a little overwhelmed right now. With more recognition comes a little bit more of a workload, but as long as you put scissor bros first, he'll be good. Thank you, Gerald. And to put more things into perspective, because I have worked, unlike maybe other examples, I have worked like... Blue collar. A lot of day jobs. A lot, a lot, a lot of kitchen, and restaurant, how, uh, barista. We we're both baristas yeah. at one I mean, so it's and like. And how great is it that we're not doing that anymore? And we're doing, we get to be in our underwear doing a sh- a sheath ads. Uh, you know, that's like, that's like, we should be ecstatic, right? I mean, I, I'm ready to go. 
and get ready for the newest song today. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I think it's okay, and I think it's okay for uh, our, you know, our scissor siblings to see a raw side of us every once in a while because you yeah, know, yeah, because this is pretty raw because we haven't. This is the unplanned, and we uh, usually have gone. I, the- you know, I'm enjoying this because there is no kind of like, oh, this is another thing about it is when we do this is good because we're organized but like i notice that we both do this because i mean i'm not saying who does it more i probably do it more than you do but it's like when we do have it chronologically kind of listed yeah i tend to like kind of look over at the next thing and i'm you're like, nervous about yeah, missing yeah, the next I'm, thing i'm like i'm mindful of the time like okay just in my mind i'm like okay just 10 more seconds of this and then move on to uh then maybe the, five. maybe okay, us preparing like, is actually taking you out of it a little bit then um, yes and no. I'm just kind of being, I mean, I just can't, I just realize that, like, that I do tend to do that. You know? Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it keeps us on schedule. I mean, because we do need, we need to be uh, uh, mindful w- with the time and everything as well. Sure. Yeah. But, uh, but I'm saying, you know, this is a pretty free form podcast and I think people like to see us kind of do whatever we feel like doing. Mm-hmm. And... You know, if we want to skip a week where we don't have a song or something like that because we're not feeling it, I think that the viewers would be fine with that, that we are just being creative in whatever direction that we are headed Mm -hmm. in. You know what I mean? Because everything like with this show is like, obviously, like this is a very positive show. Like we're both positive people. Yeah. And we we at least I try to be. Yeah. We try to cultivate positive energy and and put that out there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, some weeks it's not realistic for every single week for it to be like picture perfect hey, it's not picture family, perfect cause, just cause like a perfect life isn't unfortunately a picture perfect thing there's a lot of no, fractures life, in the picture frame way, and, yeah and you know and, and sometimes the the photos get worn and, and torn and stuff like that and yeah. sometimes they get ripped down in the middle and oh, then yeah. tape back up and your parents get divorced and it's all good i hear you can i now this is a question that, i mean just out of my own curiosity because yeah. i i admire your work ethic and the way you live your life how do you manage to do the juggle juggle all because you have a kid your your comedy your tour like how do you manage your time like so efficiently uh i would say that i don't give myself an option there's no option it's just it's just what it is I ride have, or die just it's literally like i moved to la for a reason like if i if i didn't move out here for, yeah. for that then maybe i would be not as hard on myself but the juggle is just like it's literally it's, like it's knives it's not like juggling it's like it's like knives oh, you're juggling i'm juggling knives, knives that not are, tennis balls no they're not tennis balls or like cushy things they're knives that are on fire and they're coming towards my eyes so you have to keep I ha- I, you have, I have to keep moving i, I have to <laughs> yeah okay maybe this is a, a better like um question is how do you do you find the time to when do you get to rest or put your head like do you cherish those moments oh when yeah. your, your head hits the pillow oh when i like when when i rest like or i like zen out like with my wife or my wife and my son now it's like a very special like this is dedicated time to relax this is dedicated that's like dude when we like veg out like when we get like in and out or something like that like i'm like i'm in those moments and that's why i'm like i'm getting a milkshake and stuff oh, like that because i'm like i'm present and that because that's your time that's my time that's like oh my god i didn't oh. even realize that oh yeah like, like single dudes like without a family it's we, just a regular thing it's we have all the time in the world at some certain moments you know where we can do whatever but you're not you know what i'd like to see too can you vlog just yourself i would like to see you like just resting so if you could um place your phone i I mean you you maybe what i'm trying to say is i want to see you sleep like i that would be interesting to me it make me feel good watching you get rest do you want me is to, that weird is that some kind of voyeuristic kind do you of weird? want to me to run my camera me taking a nap for a like a two-hour increment and then me time i would it? watch that and it'd make me happy you see me toss and turn or just like this in my bed i just want to see your face like resting <laughs> yeah like peacefully i think you think i mean i'm i mean not in a weird i mean I know, no 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 yeah. i know but i i like i'm 
work very very hard but I it's also one of those things where it's like i think that you're giving me too much credit like where you're like this guy doesn't even sleep it's like i you know i, I sleep and stuff I, I i just have to arrange it a certain way right i got like four hours last night you did yeah and then i took like, so, a, you and know, then I you took need, like a 30 minute just, nap today i'm just letting you know you as a human you need more I hours catch, i catch up on the weekends I catch up on so the So you get, like, so a power nap is, like, I did a, 30, a treasure. Oh, I did a 30-minute nap today, and I felt like a new man. See, okay, that's what I want to see. I want to see those cherished Jeremiah Watkins those treasure naps. power those treasure power, naps. Pa- power treasure naps, yeah. I mean, I can do that if that's something that you think would be good for the show. <laughs> I mean, this is probably for my own for my own little library, where, like... If I'm feeling a certain way, I could just go and be like, oh, I want to see Jeremiah sleeping. Should I just put a baby monitor in my room so that way you can watch me sleep? Would that make you feel better, Steve? Dude, that's not a bad idea. Like the you Truman just, Show. You just check on me every once in a while and be like, oh, he's finally sleeping. Yeah, like the sleeping. Truman Show. But, but then you have an angle of me like behind my computer. Like, yeah. oh, no, he's editing again. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm sleeping. You're like, oh, he's sleeping. He's getting good rest. Dude, that would be amazing. How do we make that? Oh, we'll get ring cameras, like the security cameras. Yeah, yeah. Then I could check it, the and app I'll, on my I'll phone. And I'll just turn it off when my wife and I are having sex. Don't show me that. That's your business. I said I'd turn it off. Okay, thank you. Um, another thing is I thought about our name and I'm like, we're scissor bros, but I'm like, oh, are we frauds? What does that mean? Cause we haven't really scissored. We're scissor brothers, right? Yeah, but we've done it f- with physical scizzers and we've trimmed no, no, each other's no. pubes. You know, Cause you know what a scissor is, right? Like a real. I, I understand what no, a no, scissor no, no. is. Let me explain to you. <laughs> nutsack to nutsack. That scissoring. Could we do it clothed? We have to do. I think we. I mean, to 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 make them know it's a real authentic podcast, we have to let them know that we. You know, because or else we might have to change our name. I'm just sorry. I mean, we have to do nutsack to nutsack. With clothed though. I think that the, our fans and listeners would appreciate Steve, it. If, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> no, I'm just not being. Am I stressing you out? No. Just, you're stressing me out now because you have you have weird like things well, like and and like and I'm well, sorry well, to no, drop the, how, the, the the W word. Is, that's not weird. Okay. Is that weird? Wait, just comment. You guys, com- you and gals, a, comment. You, you have a thing with nudity <laughs> and poop that I've noticed. No. Yeah, of course you do. Everyone's like this. No, they're not. Uh uh-uh. uh, everyone's like, dude. No. That's no. That's a part of being human. What? Okay. Nudity and poop. Everyone's like this. No, I know everybody physically has the traits of this, but I'm saying you like it. You like it in a way that other no. people don't. Yes, you do. I do. Do you know how many? I do. <laughs> you know how many poop challenges I've turned down <laughs> that did not make it to the air on this show? Oh, that's going down. Uh, episode a thousand. But anyway. It, we all we have to do we're not gonna grind each other's nuts is that what you're thinking no but you're you're bringing up but are you my scissor brother let me just ask you like this is let me just rephrase are you or are you not my scissor brother yes i'm your scissor brother you don't even have to then, ask that then, question then if you are my scissor brother then i think that you owe it to yourself nut to nut nutsack to nutsack bare nuts would you have to get your wife's per- like? Well, what needs to happen? Yeah, dude. Should I talk I'm to your wife? Can I? Man. Well, I know. Can I? <laughs> but it's not. This is not a sexual I thing. I know it's this not. This is a brotherly thing, like where it's like you know, know what it's like. It's what? like you know how you become blood brothers with someone, like when you're a kid. You know, it's like yeah. you go to the fun house or your Steve, tree house. We literally. And you're like, okay, man. Like, Steve. hey, Brad, you're my best friend, man. So we're gonna make this happen today. I I love you, man. You're my best friend. And it's like this is the kid you guys have like ma- You know, you have your magazine stash up in the tree house. Do you? That's that's what we're doing no. here. No, do you forget how many times we trimmed each other's pubes? That's where Scissor Bros comes from. That's how we became Scissor Bros, is we trimmed each other's pubes with scissors. That's our origin story. Okay, and I, I'm I'm acknowledging that, and I can't refute that. The scissor, but the scissoring, I think people would appreciate it, and I think they would really appreciate it if we took it to like the ultimate, like, dude, these dudes are real about it. They're real I scissor think, brothers. I think people already think that, man. You think so? Yeah, dude. We've already... Who trims each other's pubes? We that do. That are friends. Nobody does that. We do. 
We're already going above and beyond, dude. Clothes scissoring? I'll think about it. So, okay. Nude scissoring? Wait, hold up. Ain't Let's happening. talk this out. So, but it can't be boxers. Will you wear your like whitey tighties? If that's really what you prefer, yeah, man. So, okay. So, I mean, I'll compromise in this case. Oh, you're so nice. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Steve. So, we're I both appreciate wearing, that. So, make sure you wear your sheath. Yeah. I'll wear my sheath. We'll do it in the next ad. And, um, but it's gotta be like, I think that we really have to like do it nut, nut sack to nut sack or ass crack to ass crack. You decide. How about you decide that? Thank you. I'm just, this is something I wanted to bring. I mean, it just occurred to it's me. It's something that's been bugging you. Obviously you called us the fraud word. <laughs> yeah, because the technical, well, I, oh, I didn't mean it. I, maybe I should have picked a different word. No, it's fine. It's fine. But. Yeah, I think that people would really appreciate that. Comment below to to and then just give us your thoughts. If if you want to see a us do the the skin nut to by, nut. By the way, what a strange episode this one is. And I hope you guys are liking it. Leave a like none and, of this and comments was below. Was written down. None of it. Oh, they know none of this was written down. Yeah, they know. So you guys ready to hear the new song, Masturbation Station? <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Okay, let's give it a shot. Okay, let's okay. give it a shot. Because my energy has got more positive. That's why I wanted to talk. That's why I wanted to talk. Because I could feel that your energy was off, brother. Yeah, but do, do you notice a change now? It's it's way better. I'm coming around. Dude, you it's know I got way... love. You know I got love for you, though, right? Of course. In my heart. You know that. Of course. Okay, I just want you to know that. Because friends fight. Yeah, but but scissor bros. We talk it out. Friends we, and fight. Just to let y'all know. That's a good quote. Well, Friends fight, scissor bros talk we it talk, out. We really talk we it really out. Do. We really do. We, and just to let y'all know, there's no BS. We talk about everything. Yeah. Everything. If everything. We, about any kind of dispute, any concern, we always talk it out. Family stuff, and friend stuff, whatever. And that's something to whatever. learn out there just in general. You could always resolve things. By talking somehow, it out. Somehow. What you don't do, don't... Don't fight. Don't store it in your resentment jar. Talk it out. Because it might come out worse. Yeah. And are you ready for our next song? <laughs> Masturbation <laughs> Station. Station. <laughs> You can do what you want and what you please At the Masturbation Station You can fantasize about your deepest needs At the Masturbation Station Come along for the ride Or maybe come inside your sock Don't knock it until you've tried What's exactly a, a masturbation? Station. It's like if Batman had a bell for acceleration. But keep it hidden at all costs. If a woman sees, she'll call the cops. But women can also have masturbation stations. Piles of vibrators from every single nation. So, so we shouldn't. Shame. Splooging everywhere is a silly game. You can do what you want and what you please. You can fantasize about your deepest needs. Station. Come along for the ride at the Masturbation Station. The Masturbation Station. Didn't that feel better? Feels a lot better, my friend. Feels a lot better. Masturbation station. 
Um, because we know that you know we a couple episodes ago we discussed that Steve has a masturbation station in the corner of his place. Yeah. And uh, you know, I think we all have had masturbation stations at different places in our life. Um, you know, it's a normal thing where you tend to have your equipment and your goods where you're about to masturbate. And I'm so glad that you actually, I never even disclosed this to you, but you, you, uh, uh, in the song you mentioned socks, because I really did have um, my masturbation sock growing up in Poway, and I would just throw it underneath my bed. Mm-hmm. And so, um, did you have one of those too? I never had a sock, dude. I had a friend that would jerk off inside of a sock, but he would jerk off in dirty socks gross and he ended up getting athlete's foot on his penis ouch yeah i bet you his penis smelled rotten horrible like rotten horrible eggs. I yeah bet. i never smelled it but i can imagine um have you ever taught a friend how to masturbate no but i do have a weird story if you want to hear it and I, I got one too go ahead you say yours first oh this one's pretty weird my friend please this say one's it. pretty bizarre okay um I've, i think i mentioned this on one other podcast a long time ago i think i mentioned mine too but uh but go it's ahead. been a long time i don't need Wait, a, only, give us some context so how old only were you? a couple people would maybe even have heard that podcast episode i don't share this story very often because it's a it's a bizarre one Sheath. Go get some, Derek. Woo! Oh. Keep pumping that iron, buddy. Looking good with them sheath, man. Woo! Thanks. God damn, them sheath look real good on you, partner. Woo! Sheath. Thank you, Jed. Keep thank going, man. Looking okay. real good, partner. Okay. Woo! Okay, thank you so much. Wow, man. You know how I look this good? How, man? How? My penis is in one compartment and my balls are in another. You're goddamn right, Derek. Woo! Da 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 da. Sheath. Da 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 da. Sheath. Da 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 da. Sheath. Da 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 da. Go to com and use promo code Scissor Bros to get twenty percent off your first order. Da 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 da. Sheath. Da 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 da. Sheath. Every sheath order comes with a one hundred percent money back guarantee. Looking real good, man. Woo! Go to sheathunderwear.com. Use promo code Scissor Bros. Get sheath underwear. Sheath. Da 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 da. Sheath. Your balls. Hey, you want to get a set in or what? You're goddamn right, partner. Woo! Da 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 da. Sheath. 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 Da 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 da. Sheath underwear. See, thunderwear.com, thunderwear. use promo code Scissor Bros. I was probably 12 or 13. What grade? Would have been around 6th or 7th grade. Continue. So, as you know, and our listeners know, I grew up very religious and I went to church camps. Me too. And I did not know what masturbation was at the time. And my buddy, my best friend at the time, shout out to my buddy Chris, he, uh, he said, I can do this thing with my penis. That's what he said? This is what he goes. He goes, I can do this thing <laughs> with my penis. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, it's like a magic trick. He said, I can tug on it and stuff comes out of it. And I'm like, no, huh? I'm like, pee? He goes, it's not pee. I'm like, well, what is it then? I had no idea what it was. And and he goes, I can, he goes, 
I got to show you. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Dude. I love this. So I love what you're talking about. This is a fantastic story. Continue. This is awesome. So we go back to his his uh, to the barracks uh, at the bunks that we're at. Right. Oh, you knew there were bunk beds for sure. Oh, they were bunk beds. Oh, yeah. He's in the bottom bunk. Okay. Yeah. And he had just gone to another church camp. Yeah. And he he pulled out hard copy photos of pictures that he had taken with other girls at the at this other church camp. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is a goonie. Go ahead. And he he goes, uh, uh, like it's me at first, and then a couple other guys find out about their what's going on in here. And he's like, he's like, I'm about to do this thing with my penis. That, and they're like, oh, what the are you? magic trick. The magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> the magic the trick. The magic trick. Go, go. I love what you're doing. This is great. And and he goes, uh, he goes, all right, well, he goes. I'm going to do it. And, and he goes, and we're all kind of laughing. And now there's four or five of us crowded into this corner bunk of, of these downstairs barracks that we're staying in at this church camp. Right. Where's the counselor during this? Not around. (laughs) Obviously not around. So were you guys all naked? No, only him. Okay. And, and he just like had his pants down. He's like, saw his Mm t-shirt on Mm and or whatever, but he's literally just, (laughs) jerking off in front of me and two other guys and the weird thing i look back on is like i was of an age where i was ignorant and i um was what it made you feel what you feel a certain way about it i was just dying laughing of course you were laughing i was dying laughing and and i was like i can't believe he's doing this yeah there's a lot of that like i can't believe he's like what what like because i'm like you know self-conscious to even at the time like even get out of the shower or anything and i'm like he's like he's like rubbing his penis in front of like me and other friends he, he's crazy well he deserved a an award oh to, yeah to get hard in front of other dudes like that dude that's why he you should give him a ribbon he used the hard copy photos that he took of with him with these other girls see that to focus uh, yeah that's a uh, yeah that's not right to do that <laughs> Brittany, <laughs> yeah, I was wondering now uh, before we go to to Bible study, can I get a can I get a picture with you? Mm-hmm. Hey Chuck, <laughs> okay. Hey Chuck, will you take it real quick? <laughs> yeah, I'll put it in the yearbook, <laughs> the zine, the camp zine at the end of the year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Knowing I'm gonna masturbate to this later, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Oh well, he probably didn't think that he was gonna masturbate to it later, but maybe oh, he did. G- no, he absolutely <laughs> knew still, he was gonna touch himself to those photos. I'm still trying. You don't don't I'm still defend, trying to defend my friend. Don't, don't, I'm still do, trying to defend my friend defend after, all friend. after all these years. After all these years. After all these years. Don't do that. Okay. All right. You're right. Um, he knew what he was doing. So, you know what? That, so you know what's going. weird though. You know what's weird though. So I'm of an age where it makes sense that I maybe have no information about this yet, but I look back on it now and there's one or there's one or two guys that were in there that were watching that were like, they were like 15 or 16. And I feel like they probably knew what he was doing, that it wasn't a magic trick and they were just watching him masturbate. That's, you know what, you, that story, you need to, that in a movie, that should be in a movie. It's in a script for a screenplay that I wrote. And that's smart. You put it in there. So basically he starts jerking off. We're all laughing because it's so ridiculous. It's this, this kid who's just tugging on his wiener in front of three or four other guys. All of us are laughing and he's like, Oh, I can't con- I, stop laughing. I need to concentrate for the magic trick to work. <laughs> and then finally we like are getting quiet and then we're snickering and like nervously like <laughs> laughing and stuff like that. And then, he brought a stuffed reindeer with him to this church camp and he grabs the reindeer and jizzes all over this reindeer, this poor stuffed reindeer. He shoots a load all over, all over the reindeer. And we're dying laughing while there's just like this white stuff all over his reindeer. And we're like, we can't, we're like, oh, I couldn't believe that that white stuff came out of his penis because I'd only seen pee come out of a penis before. Mine. 
I don't know if I like the ending to that story. <laughs> I like the beginning. How did you the, think it was going to end? Uh, that he couldn't get hard? Yeah, or he uh, maybe accidentally jizzed on one of your friends. It's a, You guys want to see the grand finale? <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> and they got, got into like... Brian's hair. Right, right, right. That would have been funny, but dude, that like a what? reindeer? Yeah. That rubs It's you. just so random that a reindeer. It's stuffed reindeer. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. I don't think my story could compete with that at all. <laughs> well, go ahead. Well, I was maybe a maybe a year or two younger than you were sixth grade, you said? Yeah. Me and my friend I can't say his name because I don't want to, let's just, I'll call, I'll, I'll just say D. I said my name's, my friend's first name. Maybe I should have bleeped oh, it. Oh, okay. Knows. So my friend's name is D. Okay. And I used to go to his, he was my best friend in Derek? like elementary school. Dylan. And uh, we were in his kind of like rec room. Dole. And I said, I said, hey, have you, have you ever. Donovan. What'd you say? I'm just naming a bunch of D names until I get it right. I said one of them. Okay, okay, keep okay, going. okay. And so I goes, "Hey, dude, you, dude, do you know? Have you beat off before?" Like, and he goes, "No." And I go, "I don't know. Well, maybe this kind of makes a lot of sense of the way I am right now today. Is I I basically offered uh, my teaching services to him as far as like being his." Uh, instructor or, or to teach him how to masturbate so it's like more of a weirder type of thing because it's kind of like we ended up like sitting side by side like like both naked like you know like you know like you know and then doing like you can't see it on camera you, this is good you can't see it but you, 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 i mean describe what you what i'm doing i mean steve is literally just leaning back and and like i have this water bottle use a water bottle okay like like you know well we like this yeah yeah so but but the thing is it's and then i said we ended up getting i go do you have vaseline this is vaseline might help <laughs> so we both are sitting side by side. like like the the distances between you know, it's kind of like a, a driver and the passenger seat like it that was that clo close it was that close where we're both like you know like this and we're looking at each other <laughs> and then i go hey and then we end up getting vaseline i go hey put this on your finger it's, it's gonna help <laughs> so we're both doing this and I just remember the one thing that stands out. Why are you looking at me like I'm that? I'm not. I'm not. Okay, because the, the way you're looking at me is like. Um, Sorry. The, the the main thing conclusion is he's like so he, we're both doing this and he goes, I can't come. Oh, so he knew what <laughs> yeah, he was doing. Yeah, yeah, he knew. And he said he couldn't come next yeah, to I you. Said, yeah. And you're like, well, I did. Yeah. Well, no, I don't think I. Did you complete? Huh. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I did. <laughs> maybe I did. You know you did. Is that, Steve, okay, you know right. you did. All right, so you, you know got you me did. back. Okay, is is that odd? Is that story odd? Why well, don't not to some communities? <laughs> wait a minute. Hold up. Wait. Hold up. Pause. 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 What What do you mean? What are you re What are you referencing towards? Like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean some communities? <laughs> Just a little. It's a little. Ooh. It's a little gay. We're kids. We're kids. Yeah, but you're like being his sensei, his masturbation sensei, and like. <laughs> Please don't make a shirt out of the <laughs> masturbation sensei, and it's just Steve like this. <laughs> it's me as Daniel son. Tune in next me week. Me as Daniel son, you as Mr. Miyagi, <laughs> yeah. and it just says masturbation next sensei. Next week's song, tune in for Masturbation Sensei. Yeah, masturbation Sensei, part two to Masturbation Station, available on iTunes December 15th. <laughs> um, That's my don't. birthday. Oh, and it really. Why did you say December 15th? Did you remember that I told you that one time? Maybe it was like a Freudian slip up buried. or something. Wow.
See, that tells you something. It tells you that you're actually listening and taking in the information that is locked away, and then you're faking sometimes that you don't remember it. <gasps> what a discovery. But why, but why would I remember that particular date? Because it was an important it's date important. to remember. Because guess what, everyone? It is your birthday, and you did tell me that like last week. Yeah. And how did I know that? Because that's what happened. Yeah. What do you want for your birthday? I, I don't know. I already have. This is how you know I care because I already You're have. already thinking? Yeah, I'm already thinking about what I'm going to get you, brother. Oh, uh, you really don't have to do anything. Oh, you're getting something. <laughs> you're getting something. We'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. We'll just, well, if we just go out to eat or something, that'll be fun. No. Oh. Yeah. Steakhouse. Uh, I like steak. You deserve the biggest steak in. California. All right, we'll see. You deserve L- Laurie's. I'm, I, I'm, we're going to go to Laurie's Steakhouse. I don't even know what that is. Laurie's Steakhouse. Mm. You deserve it. Okay. You're going to love it. Hey, um. <laughs> go ahead. No, I just, I just realized. Uh, uh, you know what? I just, on a side note, I'm enjoying this particular podcast personally. Yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Well, that's why we're talking. I'm I, enjoying this one. You know why? Because we're it's not going forced. off the script. It's not forced. At all. It's not forced at all. But I needed... You needed this I one. I needed this. Well, good. That's what I want. I want you not to feel like that, it's never... You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what? You're right. And Sometimes if you're stressed, then we got to talk it out and figure out then then like what to make it right and what to make it good. It's not, not a big deal. I told you before when we were rehearsing the song and stuff, you're getting a little stressed. I'm like, dude... We're having fun in a garage yeah. singing songs. The stakes are but, pretty but, low. But but but, but the th- and then that's what kind of, that's what kind of flipped my mind state. And I'm like, you know what? He's right. It's like, dude. Not only that, like the overall, like stepping away from it, it's like, dude. This is our. This is basically our job. Think about that. Like I don't we, even look at it like that. But yeah. Well, it's kind of like a job, isn't? It? I mean, it's fun content and a podcast, but also, you know. It's a thing that, like, I'm not going to a kitchen anymore to wash dishes or bag and up meat. And that's because of you amazing scissor so siblings and your com amazing slash support. Shizzle bros. <laughs> YouTube.com slash Shizzle Bros. Subscribe today. No, I'm just kidding. Well, we appreciate it. I no, mean, we that's, do. We no, do. that's literally how we got over the 50,000 mark is because our scissor siblings are super supportive of us. And we're super grateful to yeah, uh, anybody who supports us with even likes, comments, subscribes. And, and if you're going above and beyond on Patreon and supporting us there, we appreciate it. And not so. only that, even in the conception of this whole thing, my expectations, it whatever's happening now, completely exceeded what sure. I thought was going to happen when we decided to do this podcast, right? Yeah. Like, aren't you surprised? Like, whoa. I'm grateful. Like, dude. we we thought we were going to do a certain amount, or yeah, and then we're like surprised. We're like, oh, should we celebrate with some uh, scissors? Yeah, I think that's a that's a good segue into some scissors. Do you Heck have? Yeah. Why don't you, do you have a different, oh no, you had a a dance, but well, let's do a different type of scissors. A different type of scissors? Yeah. Okay. Um, Maybe we do uh, like Star Trek scissors. Like, oh, you like know? Spock? Yeah. Like this. Yeah, like like what, like this. Okay, but this is the Spock, right? Yeah, yeah. Spock okay. scissors. Okay, Spock scissors. Yeah. But we do this. Yeah. But holding this position. Yeah, like. Then join in with us at home. It's feeling good. Yeah, it does. Doesn't it feel kind of good? It does. This is not even the soundtrack to Star Trek. What was that? This is not even the soundtrack to Star Trek. I thought it was. But it feels good though, right? And that's it. And then do one. Live long and prosper, my friends. Live long and prosper. (sighs) Felt good, man. Yeah. You know what I think? What? I think what we're going to do is um, I think we're going to end the episode with the challenge this week. What do you mean by that? 
I think we're gonna we got a special challenge that we're gonna do. We do? On location. What do you mean? For this challenge, Steve and I agreed to this before the podcast. Okay, so you're kind of... Go ahead. Huh. We, uh, because I don't... I mean, we could end with our, our song after the fact, but we are, we're we're about to leave to go do this challenge right now. Where are we going? We're going to the barracks, my friend. What? You know we are. They know. We are. We are. <laughs> Steve's excited. I'm excited. Oh, I just, you know, not, I mean, I'm looking forward to the challenge, but I just want to, I like skating. Yeah, no, well, and I, I mean, that's, and then it's like going to Disneyland again. We get to go again. Dude, it's amazing. So can we shout out Andrew Nicholas? Yeah. Uh, shout, shout out to also Deshaun Jordan. We love them. Yeah. They're the homies and, uh. And yeah, just it'll Team be USA, fun. Team yeah. USA, Team USA skateboarding, USA, Nike to, SB, um, all that we gotta, stuff. We got to congratulate also Yuto Origami for winning the gold. Yeah, for Japan, it's amazing. So um, we're gonna go to the barracks now. Uh, people have been asking for this challenge for a long time. Steve and I are gonna compete in a game of skate, a skate. and uh, we will we're give you more fun. details when we get there. And we're gonna uh, just skate around a bit and then play a game of skate, and mm-hmm. uh, we'll tell you uh, the punishment and all that when we get there. We are at the world famous barracks right now with our buddy Andrew Nicholas, and uh, he is going to be the ref for this event. Steve and I will be playing a game of skate, and here's how it's going to work. <laughs> Basically, what we're going to do is uh, this game of skate can be any kind of trick, and can even be a trick that we make up. And whoever wins gets to snap the loser's board. It's and probably going to be the worst game of skate you'll ever view on YouTube. Most likely. Uh, <laughs> Andrew is the coach for the USA yeah. uh, team's yeah. uh, sk- men's skateboarding. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to be the judge and he's going to call when we land stuff, what counts. And what doesn't count. And what doesn't count. Okay. Rochambeau? Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Here we go. So it goes one, two, shoot, right? Yeah. One, two, shoot. One, two, shoot. One, two, shoot. Rick. Yes. Stevie goes first. Yes. <sighs> All right, here we go. Fakey shove it. Fakey shove it. You got it, Jeremiah. Rick. I believe in you. I know you've been training him. Do I have to do a fakey? Yeah. Yes. It's a fakey <laughs> shove it. You have to repeat you the trick you just did. See how he's trying to slither away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Did that count? I almost had it. Oh, oh dang it. S. S. Frick. D with the first letter. Normal Shrevet. You got it. You almost did the fakey one. This is easier. Chilling. Now I do it the other way? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's the same way you just did it. A normal Shrevet. Like, normal you know, like you know. Just facing that way. It's gonna come, it's gonna spin this way. It's gonna spin that way, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. Huh. That's all the tricks I got. <laughs> whatever, whatever, dude. This is so embarrassing. Oh my goodness. What was that? What was that? That was the what? same thing. No, it was a 180. How late, how late are we counting the 180s? <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? I don't think that counted. That, that was almost two different tricks. <laughs> what? How is that two different tricks? I, I think you need I to do that. that 180 a little faster. What? That's delayed. We would not be that counting that. That was a late 180. That was an ex- I thought you could make up tricks if you guys were doing You, you didn't should, call you it, though. You should state that you're going to do an oh, extremely oh my, late. I <laughs> yes. He gets a do-over? Yeah! I believe he gets a do-over. But from now on, no shiesty you know, stuff. Switch tricks. I have to redo that too? What was that? That was a fakey front, front side. Fakey front side big spin. Fakey front side big spin. What is the Fakey front side big spin. It's, it's extremely difficult. <laughs> what he just did. <laughs> So it's fakey, but you do the shove it behind you and you gotta spin front side 180. You better just try it. <laughs> no, no. Wrong stance already? 
and then it's gotta spin behind you and you spin with it. Steve, do you not understand <laughs> that? Dude, you're gonna make up tricks, <laughs> Do you not understand, like, you're, you're just, you're just annihilating me. You're not even giving me shots at tricks that are remotely. <laughs> All right, so what do I do? So what I, I. I Okay, yeah, fakey. Fakey, folks, I shove it, but you have to like big spin with it. Yeah. You got so it. You're doing a. Boy, explain it to him. So, you're in the right position. Yeah. The board's gonna go behind you, so you're gonna do that motion, and you're gonna turn like this. You got it. I believe in you. <laughs> and if anything, it's only A. You're still in the game if you get this A. <laughs> What the frick, dude? This is, this is humiliating for me. This is great. This is, I, I only do board slides online. You can do a board slide on your turn. I'll use my board slide. So I'm kicking it back. No, you have to, yeah. be, you have to be going this way. I know, I'm going this way. This motion, off, the, off the nose. Off the, the, yeah. So I'm going like this. Yeah. yeah. It has to shove it. Front side, shove it. You got it. Yeah, I, yeah, I got this. <laughs> oh, he almost did it! I can't believe it, he almost did it! <laughs> Almost did it. Was great. SKA. All right, new trick. All right, I'm just gonna do. I guess. Oh. Okay. Come on, this. Yes. There okay, you go, okay. baby. Now what it's your turn. I'm going to the rails. He went, to, he went to the rail. <laughs> All right, since you did that, I could do, you said anything counts, and I could do a ledge strike. You got it, Jeremiah. I believe in you. That was pretty S close. That was close. That was S K A T. Okay, you guys ready for the final trick? Will the you final? do something? That, I'll do something easy. I no, swear. do something that's hard for you, you so you miss. Okay. Yes. <laughs> what the frick? Does he not get entertainment? You're just annihilating me. What the that's frick, really man? <laughs> okay, that was, that was hard to try. Please, Please make a sports side. You need some confidence boosters, right? I'm kind of trying to get the sports side. You can do this. That's it, yep, it counts. Oh, it counted. Oh, I didn't see the hands, I turned to you. I didn't see the hands, bro, it counted. I thought, I saw him land and I turned. We're doing another board slide. We're doing another board slide. We're doing another board slide. Another make from Jeremiah. He just stepped off his board. I mean, yeah, he's on his board. Yeah, right on. <laughs> and you can't do the same trick twice. Look at he's rolling away. That we said the rules are different in this game. So you're just gonna keep board sliding? <laughs> huh? Dude, and you stepped off your board. What? That didn't count. I didn't see it. He didn't even make it. I think it was clean. I believe him. Oh my god. No. Fine. That's go, cheating. Go, go. I'm not gonna do. A, I'll do a, hard, a trick that's. Do a harder. For you. Okay, I'll do a hard one for me. Ah, <laughs> uh, 
you gotta redo it. That was really sloppy. Dude, I made it! Why <laughs> you gotta roll away quicker than that, bro? I didn't jump off the board! <laughs> I don't know. Oh, as, I as the skate god that you're witness, are you oh proud of that? God. Are you proud of that? You guys. <laughs> I... You're going to land it even better. Oh, see, Jeremiah's trying. You better make up something so crazy. Bad. You better do the do it, do it, do your it. craziest it. trick in your life. That is crazy. <laughs> Dude, that's so crazy what you guys are doing to me. Okay. Oh, he's gonna do a boneless? No, bomb drop. It's a bomb drop with scissor cross legs. I see it. Dude, dude, that was not that was even the neck. He <laughs> completely put his foot off. I don't know. We might have to review the dude. leg. Oh my god. Dude, we gotta edit this out. <laughs> Okay, this is officially the worst game of skate. We apologize, guys. We don't skate all the time. Okay, so should I try this? I don't, I don't have. Okay. Do I have scat? Yeah. You have scat. scat. Okay, I'll do something. Okay. At least it's not actual scat, as in most episodes. <laughs> oh. I missed. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna drop off this box. Let's okay. get it. Another, another clean made from Jeremiah. Stepped off the floor. <laughs> now pushing. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Yeah, he just started Good pushing guys. when he landed. All right. All right. All right. There you go. He's trying to get some more speed, bro. <laughs> this, is a, this is a 180 hand turn. What? I think that we refer to this as a Birdo Man in skateboarding. <laughs> I think this is what he wants to do. Yep, he just hit the Birdo Man. Oh, that was clean. <laughs> well, you better. Is that some power slide fucking hand down? Yes, 180. He's pretty good. <laughs> He's pretty good at this stuff. <laughs> Do a hand plant, why don't you? You should. Do a hand plant or a ho ho. Oh my. <laughs> Dude, that was it. <laughs> that was it. What you just did, that's what it. You, you went back down. No, this is part of the trick. <laughs> So you go up once? You go up once, and then you do a couple of these, right? Jesus, this is... And then you go... Just like that. And you didn't even, he stepped <laughs> off his board! Once again, I didn't see it. <laughs> dude, that's just... Dude, dude, that is... Dude, you missed. No, 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 no. That was a miss. You missed like three times in a row. And that was miss three. You had that was four tries. I'm uh, ending. Ah, uh, your trick. Your trick. I, I can't believe you could almost do that. Uh, That's hard. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's trying to bring out the special move. You got to beat him. I'm gonna try to do this handstand one time. I'm gonna try to do this handstand. Dude! Just stand you up. You keep doing it. You got it. Off it. You have to land it one thing. I understand. This could be one of the most epic moments to go down in the barracks. I can't believe he's almost doing it, to be honest. I can't do that. <laughs> That's oh. some flexibility stuff. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Was it was it supposed to body barrel 180 at I didn't body barrel, I just tried like, it at the end. Oh dude, you're so un you're so biased towards him. I'm trying to kill his hand. <laughs> trying to not get a smoke. Come on, redo it. Redo it clean. Redo it. You're too good to no, be I'm landing not too like good. that. This is a 40 something year old. <laughs> clean it up. Ah, see? 
two to make it true, Steve. So I landed it. You're gonna land it better, I promise. I'm trying. I'm trying All right. You gotta, you gotta go out on a bang. Okay, front. Gotta go out perfect. Perfect, okay. Yeah. Can't win on some right, tic tac right, right. We need the handstand. No. We need it. All your strength in those legs when you get back on that board. Then watch Stevie just do it for a shot. Okay. <laughs> Come on, for all the scissor this siblings. This is it. Get those scissors going. Just, you gotta land something. I know, dude, I know. I don't have that many. You, you got so many tricks. I've only gotten one. This is so embarrassing. Thank you, French Chef. Did you do that? No. <laughs> There's a lot of. So you're gonna go fakey front side shove. I mean, how many shove it's you gonna do? There's a lot of. Fakey front side shove it. Just a fakey front side shove it. That's it. So, what is that? Like what you tried earlier, but without the spin. They're just gonna shove it behind you right now. So not in front of you that way. Yep, you can do it from that position right there. So the board's going this way? Other way. Other way. The board's going this yes. way? Yes. Yeah. But fake, you have to do it from your nose. Yeah, it's gonna be easier that way. The board's going this way. You got two tries on the last letter too, so. First one could be to figure it out. Now you get another try, you get another try, you should roll with it this one. Use, just use your back foot to spin it. Yeah. Oh, he almost is kick flipping, but goodbye. Dun, dun, dun. Dude, I did some sorry tricks. Dude, come on. I didn't even get an S. I love you. I didn't even get my board slide. Oh, you did. You landed the first one. What is it that I can do to his board now? You're going to destroy my board. I don't want to destroy You have to. Board. You have to. No. You have to. No tech, no tech. Stop. Stop with this. Just destroy my board. I don't want to <laughs> No, in the have middle. You never, have you never destroyed a board? No, not really. In the middle. In the middle. <laughs> Snap you put it. All your, your weight in the middle. Like with two feet? Yeah. Or one or whatever, cat, whatever gets it done. Yep, keep going. Almost there. Almost. 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 <laughs> I finally get a win. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad game um, skate, yeah, we should end it uh, This was uh, my favorite board that I've had in a long time. Uh, there's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on it. It's personalized grip tape that somebody made of my face on there. Um, and Steve just, Steve just snapped it. I have a lot of good, <laughs> a lot of good memories on this board. <laughs> Uh, my friend Gil Garibaldo gave it to me for a birthday gift one year. Um, I remember going to the, the skate shop to, to get this deck and it meant a lot to me when the guy assembled it right in front of me and I had a good conversation and I was really excited and I, I took it outside and I almost ate it on a crack immediately right after I got it. Um, so RIP this deck and um, congratulations to uh, the skate Dude, king. Uh, give me a hug. Love you brother. I love you. In-N-Out Burger on me. I love you guys, I, you guys deserve it. Thank I wanna get combos around the house for all you guys, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And then we'll all play Warzone, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys. And subscribing. Mm -hmm. We love you guys. We love you guys. I got dominated, I, I didn't land one trick. This is like... No, but you did. Oh, you did, you, you came off the ledge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. They're all lovely. I love you. Um, did you really? Tune in, tune in. Uh, 
YouTube.com slash Bros. I'm gassed right now. Patreon.com slash Bros. Thanks, guys. Thanks for liking and commenting. Yeah. We love you. We'll we see you next you. week. And, uh, yeah. yeah. still there it's your pal Gerald I had a doozy of a week got a blowjob from a chimpanzee that broke out of a zoo and I had to take her back into captivity after we were done with the date so that was kind of fucked up but other than that things are pretty good in my life yeah kind of a strange episode today gotta admit a little bit of a bizarre energy but you know you never know what you're going to get with Scissor Bros, except positivity at the end of the day. We scissored out the weird energy, and uh, Jeremiah was fucking pathetic at skateboarding today. I thought he was going to be way better than that. I mean, I can do better than that, and I'm a, I'm a giraffe. But anyway, we love you guys. We appreciate all the support. If you check out the Patreon, there's a bunch of dope exclusive footage. What the fuck is exclusive? Anyway, I'm strung out again. I gotta go. But we love you. And uh, if you haven't checked out my merch, go ahead and do that. Anyway, Jeremiah's in Kansas City this weekend headlining. And he's on the road. You should, you should go see him live sometime. Alright, gotta go. Love you guys. You're the best. How many times do I got to say I love you? A lot, because I fucking love you. Sorry to swear so much. I, I got to work on that. Bye. You can fantasize about your deepest needs at the masturbation station. Come along for the ride. Or maybe come inside your sock. <laughs>